Hey everybody, with Jackie Canner, Jeff Reinhardt from PennLive.com, talking about the Double A Girls Basketball State Tournament. Taking a look at the brackets, Jackie, what do you see in Double A? Well, we've got two mid Penn teams that made it into the Double A bracket, um, but unfortunately, they're both on the side of the bracket with Newman Goretti, which is the defending state finalist. Uh, Camp Hill gets it a little easier because they did make it to the District Three final, and they'll take on Bodine, which shouldn't be that tough of a matchup. Um, on the lower half of the bracket, you'll see York Catholic, 10-time District 3 champion in 10 years, and they're pretty much likely going to meet up with Holy Redeemer in the quarterfinals, so that could be a team to watch to see how far they can get. For me, Double A is the Newman Goretti Invitational. <laughs> They're 26 and 0 going into this tournament. They've been number one in our state rankings all season. They're number one in the USA Today Super 25. So they're on a mission, and uh, they got to the finals last year and lost. They lost to Seton LaSalle, which is also back. Seton LaSalle is a seven-loss team, but they have all their parts back, and they won the Whitfield title. Uh, you mentioned Holy Redeemer, great call. Uh, Alexis Lewis is a phenomenal player. She's going to Iona. They did not win their district, so they slipped a little in the bracket. Uh, so keep an eye out for them. My favorite game here is Carn City against Burrell. Uh, they only have a couple of losses between them, and I think one of those teams could be a sleeper to get Seton LaSalle later on. I'll go Chalk, I'll go Goretti against Seton LaSalle, I'll call another rematch, and I think Goretti gets the job done this time because they just seem to be on a mission here with everything flying around their program this season. So I'll take Goretti over Seton LaSalle. Uh, that's your double A bracket. Enjoy.